Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Get It Quickly. Today I am going to be continuing our series on Notepad++ Increase Your Productivity. So for today's video, this is going to be our menu and today we are going to learn about sessions in Notepad++. But the question is like what is session in Notepad++ and what is the significance of sessions in Notepad++ and then we will see the demo of how to save and load sessions in Notepad++. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do here is basically open up the QDIR if you don't know what is QDIR you can go check my channel I do have like two videos you can watch these two videos to learn what is QDIR okay so let's back to our main topic for today's video which is notepad plus plus sessions okay if you remember in my previous videos basically we do have like a database with like four folders inside project one project two project three and project four so the question is like what is session in Notepad++? That's what I'm going to tell you first. So let's take an example. If you are working on project one and you have like a bunch of files open in Notepad++ and then at some point, if you want to freeze all of the files, like whatever the positions they have in view one in view two whatever and you're gonna work on project two and later on once you stop working on project two you want to load all the files from project one wherever they are and whatever the marks you have in project one files so that's what what the sessions are uh, for so basically what we can do is like we can more like freeze all the positions like whatever uh, the tabs we have opened for project one and then we can close all of them and then we can start working on project two and once we are done with project two we can just load the session back and it will automatically open all the files exactly where we had them before okay so let's see we are gonna open all the files here in uh, project one for example i do have this guy open here this is uh, uh, c underscore code dot c. I, of course, I don't have anything in this file, but I'm just uh, showing you like what kind of files I have here. So let's open all, all of the files one by one. And what I can do is like, uh, yes, I can just uh, do this shell dot sh. And then what I can do is like, I can move this guy to the other view. And that's you can learn also in my videos. I do have like a bunch of videos on Notepad++ plus plus on my channel. You can go explore all of them one by one. Okay. So let's see, you have like some of the files open from project one and you have like some marks for example if i do have like this prime underscore number dot c and i do have marks on line 15 and line 26 here and then what i can do is like i can save the session for this project right so to do this you have to click on files here and then you can just go here and save session right and you can save the session for example i did save it before so i'm going to just override this guy here for example project so uh this project or maybe you can just say like project uh session one right and just save this guy here right it is the file i deliberately save under the same directory so that i can just reload the same session file from the same directory where i was like working before right so if i just switch back to qdir and see uh, i just do have like a new file project underscore session underscore one you can see like there is no extension for this file is just like all the information that you have here right three or four files opened for project one all this information like the positions of the files like the tab position and left side on the right side view wherever the files are you can just save it so if you just right click on this file and open it with notepad plus plus you can see like all that information for all these files are saved in more like an html or xml file type of thing right you can you can see that you can explore this file by yourself but i'm just going to close this one right and then i'm going to close all of the tabs that i have opened before right so just close all of them now i don't have any files open for project one what if i can just do project two now 
for example, if I just have project two files open and then once I'm done, I can just close them. And then what I can just do, I can just reload the session for project one that I had saved before. Okay, so just go to the files again and then just load session and then uh, go to project one because there we have saved that project one session. And if you just double click on that guy, it can just open up all the files you had opened before, even the marks you had wherever in the file you had they're just gonna be there, right? So that's the significance of session. So you can just, you know, freeze all your work and then you can just close down all of the files and then you can just reload the session. It will automatically reload all your files exactly in the same manner you had before, wherever the marks are, you are gonna see all of them again, okay? So now you know what is the session in Notepad++. So just complete this one and then you also know what is the significance of sessions in Notepad++. You can use them, increase your productivity. And we have seen the demonstration of how to save and load sessions in Notepad++. So complete this one. And that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.